This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPÖ. My name is Paul and this is the 63rd episode recorded on the 16th of November 2017. And we have him back for a very short episode, but an episode nonetheless. It is... <coughs> Me! Georg hey. Raube! <laughs> Hello. Hey Georg! Thank you for having me back. It's oh. our third or fourth episode do you uh, know? I, I don't it's all a blur man with you yeah. <laughs> it's just you know no it's really like you, you step into a time machine that's really shitty because it transport it's like click basically you know the movie click i do yeah <laughs> see that's what i mean it's like we're throwing pop culture references at each other we're like you might have not seen this one yeah. and the other person is like yeah I've, yeah i've seen so that one. I've to seen anybody that one. who's listening and doesn't have a fuck of idea what the yeah. hell we're talking about Listen pa back pa to the pa other yeah. episodes that we've yeah. recorded so far. No, Paul off camera told me that we pretty much have the same pop cultural knowledge framework. Circle. Yeah, yeah, framework is a better word. Yeah, to, to work so with. So, what are we discussing uh, today, oh, my uh, dear uh, friend Paul? A uh, uh, golden standard of Austrian filmmaking. We return uh, after um, taking a break from Commissar Rex. Um, we return to Commissar Rex with season. One episode nine, Amok. <laughs> Chosen by Killing me. Spree. I chose Amok because I think the title sounds like an Oscar movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's Amok. St yeah, starring Brad Pitt and Tobias Moretti. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I gladly picked Commissar Rex because I yeah. haven't seen it for I think the last time I saw it was it was on TV. Wow. Okay. Like it's when been I was a while. Twelve or thirteen, uh -huh. and, and I remember going uh, with my. Uh, with my with a school class to go get autographs of Tobias Moretti, and I was so not, I was so not interested because I didn't give a shit who he was. <laughs> was it like yeah, a Make a Wish Foundation kind of thing? Like one no, of your kids had cancer? It was more like, like, like a trip. It was a trip. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, it's been twenty years until today that, that I've seen an episode. Okay, called Amok. Yeah. <laughs> What, what an episode. And what an episode. We, we randomly picked the episode. The yes. only thing I wanted was the first season. And we randomly picked the one yeah. where a future commissar yes. is, is, plays a side character. Gideon Burkhardt, yes. who, is, who, who had a main role as the main commissar in later ep uh, yeah. seasons after they killed off Moretti. And we picked the episode where he has... Where he's playing another character. So I thought that was really funny. Where he plays Stefan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so... <laughs> I think oh, we can, and one, we can, one more thing to yeah. this. And I told you, this is Gadian Burkhardt, and you weren't freaking out. <laughs> yeah. Because until the end of the episode, we didn't find out that you didn't know that Gadian Burkhardt played another commissar. It was a pop culture black spot uh, in, in my... In, but that, that wasn't a problem. Yeah. I thought you knew, but you were so underwhelmed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sorry uh, for pointing that out. Uh, okay, yeah, like, I was, like, very <laughs> underwhelmed by it. Like, yeah, whatever, man. And I felt, like, hurt. Like, <laughs> this, this should have hit harder. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, okay. It should have. It should have. Maybe it Let's doesn't be want honest. to talk to me <laughs> oh no i always want to talk to you buddy oh same here yeah <laughs> i also uh, always want to talk to me oh this is <laughs> this is this is um again a very a very sexy episode too in is a, it in a, in a way in oh, a, oh it is in a, in, I, okay. in, a, in a way it is a very sexy episode because but we will come to that one time <laughs> come let's, to let's, that uh, <laughs> let's let's start with the beginning yes yes let's start with the Plot. Category plot. It has a very long intro. Oh, yeah. The, th the theme goes on for fucking ever. Yeah. And what, what I don't like, and it makes it feel probably even longer than it actually is, is the theme song descends and then rises again. Like, you think the episode starts, like, it's... Bam. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that very much annoyed me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Other yeah. than that, it's your classic cheesy 90s intro yeah and 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 then we have after that we have the long ass revelation that the guy has aids which is also but, takes forever until you see any yeah. of them i mean 
it's a crime procedural. You're going to see the crime first. Yeah. That's that's how it goes these days. That's okay. Yeah. But it took for fucking ever until <laughs> it's like fifth, 10 so, to 15 minutes until you see one so of the main characters. It's actually very easy because guy gets thinks he gets AIDS, um, starts to go on, uh, starts to confront one of his partners, Paul, <laughs> gay Paul. He <laughs> he shoots him. Then he shoots uh, a woman that he also knows. And then he plans to burn down a building. And yeah. that's it, basically. Yeah. Basically, the main villain con- thinks he has AIDS and wants to kill everybody yes. from his fuck society yeah. who, who could have been involved. Also, these are, those are 90s tests, you know? Those are not as accurate as the ones that we have nowadays. Well, he didn't know. He was, he yeah. was in the <laughs> 90s. You, you do understand yeah. the concept of time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This why movie. Is the, why this is that movie man did, in this 90s, 20s movie this not mo- using an iPhone? We have iPhones now. Can <laughs> I just give it to him? This movie. Well, this this episode this didn't did play with the concept of of time a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. You, you just told it like you're somebody who's not no, aware no, no, of the yeah. concept of TV. Yeah. Like that's not like hindsight is 2020. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, but yeah. So this guy wants to kill everybody. Action, it's very action laden in that regard. Like even even the scene where they phone all the friends of the victims <laughs> is is like one big action scene where they pick up the phone, talk to the phone, hang up the phone, call again, and and it's just yeah. yeah it's it the, the cuts and everything make it look like this it's is, like yeah. it's like the A team assembling a really cool weapon. Or something to escape some situation they are in. This is one of my main problems with crime procedurals, and they still do it today. It's most of it. If you just write, if you write it down, there's not a lot of action, but they yeah. sell it like it is. Yes. Like basically, this was like a thirty-minute episode, and and action. Forty, like, forty two minutes. Like that, they there hap- like yeah. five things happen that are action-like, and everything else is talking and and stalking <laughs> yeah. and police work. Which yeah. And that's my problem with crime procedures. It's okay to make a slow burn, but all most of crime procedures are a slow burn sold as a fast burn, and that kind of annoys me. Oh, and it's, okay. it's the same yeah. with this. Like not a lot of ha- not a lot, not a lot of things happen, <laughs> but they make you feel like things matter that really don't. It is one of the most for 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 the episode that I've seen so far and reviewed for the podcast. This Commissar Rex episode is one of the most. Uh, bullets fired per minute yeah like they have they have a lot of shootouts and and well they have one, one. big <laughs> yeah yeah which is yeah, you mean uh, there's a lot of bullets fired yeah yes there's a lot of people getting killed by bullets but there's only yeah. one shootout well there are only two people getting but killed on the other side bullets. that's enough if it's well done yeah imagine if you only had shootouts it would be boring as shit yeah that's true yeah well then then you have a, a michael bay movie yeah. That's that's what you have then, that's or true. or a modern tatort. I can tell you this. There wasn't. I'd, I'd ta- rather watch Commissar Rex again than Michael Bay. Like this was mediocre entertainment, yeah. but it was entertainment <laughs> and not just boom and good actors. Like we yeah. we have Karl Markovic again stands out as stocky. Karl Markovic sells is it like a motherfucker to everybody non Austrian who should be listening. Uh, Karl he Markovic was a- is a now famous actor who had one of his first or his first big role yeah. in this crime procedural. And he just commits to the character, like yeah. He he is supposed 100%. to be comedic relief, but he he seems like a real dude. Like he's a yes. he has three dimensions as, yes. as the main character. He's to be like only he's like two. Sheldon if Sheldon was good. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> like think it's like a weird character like that. In, like in, the traits and everything make him really weird. Yeah, but. D- Sheldon feels like something completely out of place while this yeah, but, but looks like somebody that you in, could actually in, run into in real life in defense of Jim Parsons yeah. Jim Parsons who plays the character that's the writing oh no I think definitely Jim, I think Jim, no, no. He's I'm, not a, a I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of the Big Bang Theory but Jim Parsons he, does a great job yeah no no, no he's a he's, great the writing it's shittier and shittier <laughs> for the character like it's it's actually insulting to people like him yeah but he like he sells co- it uh, uh, yeah uh, performance Performance is very good. Yeah. Or it used to be very good. No. <laughs> it, it probably still is very good, but it's so outplayed and boring. I'm, I haven't, I haven't I, I, watched it in I don't care three or four it. years I, I tr- now. I'm, I'm s- Every two months I try to catch up. Okay. And it's it's just... It's too... It's more like it, a it's small boring. bang theory nowadays. But the actors are all good. Like Simon yeah. Hedberg is great. No. 
That's so, why that's why I get extra mad at something like this. That but, there's and, waste and, of talent. Yeah, and this is this is Commissar Rex in general is underwhelming if you watch it through an adult's eye. But there yeah. is enough of that keeps you entertained. Yeah. You know. Oh, it, it's not a bad show. It's just very standard. Like it's a crime procedural, as and, and that's yeah. There's no new ground broken. Yeah, and I don't think there will be oh, for a long time unless somebody the, has the, a sack. Yeah, one of the things was the 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 killer was using a revolver, and yeah. and they knew that it was a revolver before they even had like any idea yeah. who the killer was or what type of weapon he was using, except for that it was a gun. And they immediately went for a revolver, and then oh. they walked back again, and they were like, "Small caliber firearm. It's a nine millimeter." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, why did you say revolver then?" <laughs> Speaking of shooting hot loads, <laughs> Gideon Burkhardt is oh. fucking hung. Damn, that There's that, a that scene. dude. Where he's wearing a jeans shirt and a very blue uh, dress shirt. Well, and a, and a very tight yeah jean. blue jeans yeah. And there is a bulge and Damn. it is not small. Moose knuckle much yeah. That's a fucking that's a whole moose man. I, we were we were both very impressed. We were dumbfounded to a certain yeah. degree. And you didn't even notice. I noticed first. I don't know what it says about me. <laughs> is this is that's this just, is, just you pay more attention? Will, yeah. you're just more sensitive. You know? to, to schlongs, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was asking, is this? Am I looking at? Are we looking at this? Is this a shadow? Is this a yeah. lightning? Or do you see a schlong too? And, yeah. and you're like, wait, what? Whoa! Now <laughs> yeah, that's a schlong. Yeah, that's a so. Gideon Burkhardt. Well done, well good. done, good, good I, sir, good I sir. I now understand how you got to roll up you the could have, you could have been, later on. You could have made a shit ton of money as a chigolo, as a male, male. Uh, high ping well you don't know that maybe prostitute. he comes fast maybe it's like <laughs> oh yeah yeah big dicks are not impervious you know i mean they it's they like are the, it's like it's like the roman empire it's really big but sometimes it just crumbles down very quickly yeah especially when the hordes invade <laughs> history pun analogy H- hashtag comedy <laughs> 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 ah, Georg, I'm so happy that you're here, you know? Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not as happy yeah, as so Ian Burkhardt was in that scene. Oh, but yeah, man. But, he... uh, dude, great schlong. Yeah, well, well. And great chin. Yeah. Oh, no, just. You can, just make, you can make your double chin joke this, now. This, no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ha- hashtag comedy coming up. <laughs> yes. What were you saying off camera about Gideon Burkhardt's chin? It was an, a hilarious take on the double chin. <laughs> Please tell tell me tell everybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. If you demand it, I will give I it to very you. Very much do. Oh yeah. So yeah. What I wanted to say is that yeah, his his chin is so massive that should be actually called be called a double chin because it protrudes twice the length than a normal chin. It it looks like something where you could actually when something said some somebody says you 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 chin is uh chiseled out of marble i think this chin could chisel marble you know i think marble is chiseled out of that chin yeah <laughs> all the marble in the world comes from gideon burkhardt's chin <laughs> he's a very busy man you know <laughs> oh i have to make like ten thousand statues today <laughs> well with that chin it doesn't take long yeah exactly yeah that's that's a that's a that's a, i mean that that must also be troublesome, I, I think. Like, if you if you if you if you body check somebody with that chin, that person is just dead. You know. I th- I see that as with an great advantage. chin. With great chin comes great responsibility. But I, that's a weapon of mass destruction. I'm happy for, and so is his schlong. <laughs> so ma- massive chin, massive schlong. So Popeye, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> he could be totally the Austrian Popeye. Uh, um, um, um. um <laughs> Rausflutschauge. Do you think Popeye's dick is formed like his arms, like very thin at the base and then really thick at the end? Only if he eats spinach first. And before he eats spinach, he has like this floppy, small wing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and it's like. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, and, and the penis has also a small pipe that does the noise. <laughs> <laughs> horrifying it is truly that's, horrifying that's called sounding 
<laughs> sticking something up your penal. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's just because a... it's not called sounding if you stick it up a female's shit. It's only called sounding if you enter into a dick. That's why I said penal. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Which is not the correct word, but I don't give a shit. You get no penalty from me for that. Hashtag comedy. <laughs> So what were we talking about? Didn't we watch some, I'm, 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 some shit? <laughs> yeah, I think we, we watched some shit. I'm just oh, yeah. looking at the one, notes. One thing right that now. I uh, oh, that, they, that they I interrogate the cup of Wall Street at one point. Oh yeah, there's like uh, somebody who speaks in. If the actor did a choice to make that accent, he did a wonderful job. Oh it's, yeah, it's, it's great. A, it's a subtle Shinbuno accent. Yeah, but if he actually talks like it, I'm not impressed. But if I am impressed, because uh, for the for the foreign yeah. listeners. Think, um, think, uh, is Amati, the, uh, not Falco. Think the thing Falco. Is a schön Bruno accent for you, for those listeners. Yeah, it's um a, one of those cliche accents. Really that cliche. A lot of people do bad if they do it. Yeah, and comedians love to use it in their. Yeah, acts. I, I love to use it. It's yeah, one me of, it's too. One, one of my, I can do the, the caricature, but I can do the actual too. So. Oh, nice. That's Your full range. My full range full, is. Full range. I'm, I'm full Schön Bruno. <laughs> I'm a classically yeah, so I, trained full range from Brunian Ekata. Ekata? Ekata. 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 Equator. Equator. That's the, the Earth's belt. Yes. Yeah. So oh. anyway, this guy, yeah, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's bad good. Like he overacts too, but not with the accent. Mm -hmm. And w what I thought is was really ridiculous. I don't know if it was the actor's choice, but probably more the director's is... Like, he learns that he has HIV, possibly AIDS, mm -hmm. and the transformation to evil cliche villain is, like, instant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. And they yeah. add to it. Like, like he's a normal dude in the beginning. He's a bit yeah. of an asshole, a bit of a smug bastard. But he's, he's like he's Tony Stark if Tony Stark was never successful. Bag. Oh, the, I whistled. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Uh, anyway, so he turns from a normal person. Every into time you think of him, apart, yeah. apparently now subconsciously you're like, <laughs> yeah, the schlong. Yeah. So uh, every time you see him after you, in the first scene where he was a normal dude, like suddenly the, the eyes are like uh, psycho eyes. Yeah. And, and then he only talks like this. <laughs> and then he, he has a to, then to he has see. a fucking trench coat. Out I mean, of nowhere. that's also that's also when you're only restricted to having forty-two minute episodes. That you can't have the full range. I do not agree. No? No, because that again is a crime procedural thing. With they should start out with because, him being Because crazy. they tell the stories um, chronologically or sequential. Yeah. They don't have the time. But you can very much in 40 minutes establish why someone's fucked up in just with not jumping from 1 to 100. Fair enough. So anyways, he, he has a full cliche comic villain transformation in like an... A minute. <laughs> yeah. Like ten, also, where trench, does he have that coat. revolver from? Probably. They from never talked the about it. The like store. <laughs> the gun store. Yeah. That just gives you guns for shillings. You were hoping for a more absurd answer. But yes. Maybe the most real answer ever. <laughs> Probably from the, the gun, gun store. store. Yeah. Well, you get also the bullets from. So the, now this guy you is don't hunting. Don't have to go yeah. to a separate bullet store. So now this gun is hunting down all these. They have a fuck suicide and he hunts them all down because he doesn't know who gave him AIDS. So he just goes on a killing spree of all his yeah lay lays yeah yeah his or or his lays lays <laughs> his double lays you know the lays that laid with his lays lay lays his yeah his lay lays yeah and if he has sex with Pele, is it a Pele lay? <laughs> no, that's when Pele lay a uh, Pele. Um, Fuck somebody that he fucked. That's then a Pelele. And if if Pele chose to be in Bruce Lee's family, he would be Pelele. Perfect. That, that joke was so bad that he had to turn off the camera and slap me really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I should have painted on some something on <laughs> your face in the meantime, so okay. like like a slap mark or something <laughs> like we've, been, we've been talking about. Hand. We have like <laughs> a shitload of categories to go. Let's let's. <laughs> Let's go through the plot quickly, through the rest of the plot. So yeah, that guy wants to burn down the mansion where they all fuck. Yes. Because they are meeting there for a fuck meeting. Yeah. 
and there is maybe he's yeah. just conscious of 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 the like that there might be eight spunk still there and he no, just he, wants he to clean it out. No, he goes there because there was another fuck meeting. Yeah, I know, but and you know, the only the only person to come into the mansion is a girl, and all the others come in a car yeah. together. <laughs> only she has to be in there, singing a dope they, song. Yeah, but they get scared away by the yeah. police who's arriving and the guns, bullets that were fired at their car. Yeah. And he didn't even hit the car. He hit only the ground around the car. Yeah, like, there was a shooter. Marksman. Okay, like we're talking all over the place. So, yeah. So the, the the crazy villain goes into the mansion where they fuck. Oh, but yeah. The, the, the police, through sleuthing, finds out that they are going to be there. So Tobias Moretti and Commissar Rex and Stocking are all go there to, yeah. to hunt him down. And one girl makes it inside the mansion too, and he shoots her, but he survives. And she's the most useless character ever. Like she, no, she, no, she fucking is. She shows up, does nothing, gets shot, and then no, gets she, rescued. She's great. She's, she's not. No, she, I know she, you want to call her MVP, <laughs> but she's fucking useless, man. Yeah, that's only because the killer is a superhuman all of a sudden and can yeah, teleport to, like yeah, a fuck, motherfucker. There's, there's a fucking scene where he. We have to say, the he guy has, he has throws, a hurt leg. Yeah, but he, he's an idiot because she's like, oh, there's somebody else behind you, basically. So he turns around, she grabs a, a, a vase, throws it at him, hits him on the head. 2020 marksmanship right there. You know, that's, that's normally you have Stormtrooper yeah. aim, but this, it, he, she just. You have to give more context. Him. You just. They didn't watch the episode. They might have. Some of them did. So the guy shows up with his hurt leg. Yeah. And she and she uh, he aims the gun at her and he yeah she flicks something at his head and the guy with the hurt leg yeah fucking uh, a fucking wound now yeah and she runs away and she's upstairs and suddenly he's also there the camera swings and there he is yeah in the other hallway like like, so, like you said suddenly he has magic powers yeah but then they run away and pl suddenly he has problems walking again like yeah. it's very convenient <laughs> it's fucking stupid when, when it's for the pacing issue that was just to have that yeah. oh no moment moment yeah, because but he that could was have really fucking stupid she could have still locked herself in that room and he could have caught up with her because she just yeah. was static you know not moving that's fun you know and then he 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 decks her by shooting by shooting through the door, which is a waste of bullets because he shoots out the lock with the last shot and opens up the door. He could have done with the first bullet, yeah. aim at her, shoot again, and then it's done. And then the others, he checked if they were dead, and he doesn't check. This if is she's not dead. America. She doesn't have a gun on her, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, she she's still 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 a fucking still? useless character because she has absolutely. N if you took her out, or if you would have let her die there, or took her out of the, the took her out uh, of the picture episode entirely, it wouldn't fucking matter. Yeah, they just did it so that Tobias Moretti's I'm, I'm character. I totally agree with you on that. They point. just did it so then he, that he could carry her down the stairs. Be like a, a hero. Fucking, uh, Kevin Costner bodyguard. John McClane. I'm going with Kevin Costner. Okay. Here, yeah. Bitch. <laughs> you have aspirations for good hair. I don't, you know. Yeah. So then they, then they shoot, <laughs> then they shoot. Uh, the police arrives. Let's let's make this short. Yeah, let's make that short. Yeah, the police arrives enough. and and with a trick of the clever doggy, they scare the guns out of you him. You mean Ninja Rex? In Ninja this Rex. Yeah. Like, like he so has a different stupid. skill in every episode. Well, that's okay. And that's a gimmick. They have to yeah, reinvent but, it. Yeah, but but this time he's like a fucking ninja. Yeah. He goes down. Robs against the floor and, and he robs. Yeah, <laughs> robs. Uh, like Th no, no, that's not the English skits, word. Skits. <laughs> skits. <laughs> that is the English word for a pub. Yeah. <laughs> he's 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 crawling. Yeah. Roping. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking well, idiot. I'm with you. Oh man. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. So they, they shoot him down with clever doggy tricks. And mm -hmm. then well, they arrest him and then the the big reveal comes. Well, only because Moretti was uh, um, um, snitched on by the squeaky floor in yeah. the first place. Uh, anyways, they... <laughs> you don't even care. You're like, ah, oh, fuck um, this. Yeah, fuck this. Uh, anyways, they, they capture Mr. Supervillain and then they tell him something because they they got new information for him yeah which comes in by by phone yeah i, I want to reveal very close to the mic yes reveal it close close mic reveal the villain Shh, i'm talking the villain 
doesn't even have HIV. It was all a mistake and he did it for naught. Shit! That was, I think dramatically, I mean, it's a cliche move, but I, th I thought it was played out pretty well. I, I liked yeah. that. I, I mean, I saw it coming 10 miles away, but um, it's still dramatic and it's it's cheesy, but it's good. I thought that was, it's played out, but at that time it wasn't yes. as played out. Yes, it, fair the, enough. The episode fair is like 25 enough. years old. Fair now. enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and again, it it means that you can actually even in if you're in the caught in the Commissar Rex universe, you now can without a doubt fuck 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 him, you know? What? Because he doesn't have HIV. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's safe to fuck him. It's m it might may not be safe for your for your you know. Long walk for his <laughs> small laugh. <laughs> Name of my first comedy album. <laughs> it's it's one and a half hours long, and it has one laugh in it. <laughs> and it's your own. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the plot. I, I'm just looping my own laugh in, yeah. into the into the audio. Yeah, nice. Uh, can you sum up the plot for us in a few sentences? Yeah, to, sure. To wrap it all up. Yeah. Uh, guy gets the news that he might have AIDS. Starts to kill people that might have transmitted the AIDS to him. Then he gets taken down by the cops. Finds out that he doesn't have AIDS. End of story. Happy end of story. Kind of. I mean, there's people dead. There's families with No, Tobias Moretti said that it's all okay. They are all safe. That's what he said. And even though he, Even though he knew that two people are dead. Well, to and that one guy went crazy. To be fair, you're pretty safe. Also, who's in to grave? blame in this? Who's to blame? Thanks for talking into my rhyme, you asshole. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry rhyme away. No, I'm done. I will never rhyme for you again. Oh, that would be the real crime <laughs> if you couldn't rhyme anymore. That was almost a rhyme. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, that was the plot. It wasn't anything. Range. It was wasn't anything magnificent or. But it, it doesn't yeah. have to be. It's a fucking crime procedural. Yeah. And it's it was it was kind of slow paced. Um, the problems standing that I told before that I have with crime procedurals, it's for what it is. It was okay. I was entertained. Yeah. It was kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah. It, it, but it was a bit self aware of its silliness, which I always find is condemnable. That they that it's commendable. Good. Yeah, commandable. Yeah. Not, not commandable. <laughs> I command you to C find I this, you. To find this no, uh, crime procedural good. It's it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's nothing bad. Yeah. I was kind of enjoying it, even yeah. thinking it's very stupid. Yeah, there, there are some moments in there that are very 90s, like the trench oh, coats. Oh, fuck, yeah. Like, there's one scene where they have, like, it, it's like the most 90s shot ever with the, the big... The big mobile phone, the yeah. old clunky phone, those garters that things uh -huh. that come out like this, where the phone is on. Yeah, yeah the cradle. fucking fax machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All in one, and the fucking night clunky ass uh, workstation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And oh, w workstation and the well, fucking yeah. everything is there. So it's like a fucking throwback commercial. Yeah, it's like in all one what we have shot, in a oh, smartphone geez. nowadays, yeah. all splayed out there. It is quite and, amazing. Uh, as you said, like when they start their detective work. Yeah. And they have like a big five minute scene of it. You're like, it's something that you solve with a smartphone in like mm. 10 seconds today. And it's true. So that kind of took away a lot of things for writers because now they actually have to do research, <laughs> which they fucking didn't for this. But it was okay. I gave it a wouldn't watch again out of 10. <laughs> wouldn't watch out of 10? Wouldn't watch again. Wouldn't watch again. Oh, there's a Could watch. Could watch once, but wouldn't did, watch did again. Did he steal the watch? He, yeah, well, he gave it back at the end. Oh. You have to give context to the viewers. Sorry. We're fucking Watchmen. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, Watchmen. We're, we're both a bit <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Especially Paul is yeah, totally. giving no context. Yeah, no, I'm not going to talk about the Watchmen. <laughs> it's, it's, it's... But it's a good comic book. Yeah, the Watchmen. Don't watch Watchmen. Watchmen. You fucked that up already. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. Um... <laughs> How would it go? Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Don't man. watch these men watching only a watch, watch, watch men. Nice. Thank you. Next. I'm going to watch my men watch, watch men. If you're going to watch a man, watch Gideon Burkett's crotch. Because that's 
its own man. Oh yeah. His dick is so big it has its own dick. Yeah. <laughs> I know I've I made this joke on the, on this <laughs> podcast before, but yes. I don't care. <laughs> call back. <laughs> yeah, call back to a, an episode nobody saw. Bam 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 bam. Uh all right, let's get uh, let's get a move on. Yes, get on. Let's yeah, let's get fit with cinematography. Let's get it on. Let's get it on with the cinematography with Georg. Georg, tell me what the colors are of the movie show, TV show. The colors? Yeah, no, that that it was very '90s themed, but we mm-hmm. we had. We had some, some, like the the, the 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 office that they were working was all white, with all beige colors mostly, and then you had the the the, the castle which was which was all you're, you're yellow. Just, you're just rambling right now. I'm I'm rambling you're about like an colors. Old <laughs> <laughs> colors mean. Don't you know? I, I, the olden days <laughs> when with we the pudding and the birds to burn. <laughs> Back in the days, we only had black and white pudding. So I only have two notes on cinematography, which is, yeah, which always uh, um, amuses I have me. One. The boom was in the shot once, yeah. <laughs> which I you always caught find, that. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Well done. That's, it's that's, something that has that's an, some pro level shit right yeah, there. Yeah, if you do it as much as I do, like you, you see the boom in the shot, and it ruins a lot of shots. And I always find it hilarious to see a boom in the yeah. shot. And the second thing is. I noted down it's nothing fancy. There's a lot of weird cutting and fast cutting at the time, but mm. other than that, it's mostly functional, nothing too creative. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But there's there's the a few shots where they cut so much for no reason. Like, bam, 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 bam. Oh, the, 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 the uh, ham roll. Yeah. yeah. Where, where they have 12 cuts. Before yeah. the dog c- catches the hand. Why? Why? For, for <laughs> what fucking reason? <laughs> because it's really action laden and yeah, really wow. cool. Uh, and actually, the dog geez. can't really pull it off, so we have to cut twelve times around it to make it work properly. So what did you note down on cinematography? Uh, just just that the one the this the, the one scene where where uh, Stefan our uh, um our serial murderer. Oh, the main villain. The main. There's no secondary villain. But to the main, me, there is the main. Okay, so we're coming to that later, maybe. But uh, the the main villain um, confronts one of the bangers, the the swing sw- swing buddies, sw- sw- swingsters, swingaroos, swingaroos. Yeah, the the one of the swingaroos in swingles. the swingles, st- swingles. No, that's that's if they're all, if they're single. But most of them were in a couple situation. Why so they? So they're more like twingles. No, that's when they're twins. And if you cut them up, they're Pringles. <laughs> oh, you actually laugh at that. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> that's have. That's so high, stupid. I didn't have that's high so hopes. That's so stupid. But I love Pringles. Made, made you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Golden a, standard of comedy. Make Paul laugh. It's funny if you laugh, and you know it. If you're funny and you laugh, it, then you know it. If you're funny and you laugh and you know that you can show it, then you laugh and you know that you're funny. Did I mention that he's... Yeah, crazy, crazy, So let's, crazy le- let's leave cinematography, sure. I guess? Um, or do you no, no, to, I, do just you, want, okay, I just want... Yeah, yeah. So, so that that shot looked very much like an X-Files <clears throat> kind of moment where Mulder oh, yeah. is confronted by somebody and it had, it had the sound, it had the... The, the the angle and he came out of yeah. the dark from the side like a like a like one of those monsters or something like that and he's like oh everything is all right margaret or something like that what was her name and, and he apparently talks like marge simpson <laughs> oh was, was that a marge mm. simpson mm. you have a gun <laughs> I I have no I, I I was so shocked the first time I saw simpsons in english it was such a break from the German version. Yeah. Because the German, the, the German they were version, really good. They were really good. They yeah. are still. But uh, the original actress who, who she, the German voice does a very opera thing. Like yeah. it's, it's very sing-song. It's like, yes. ha, 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 yeah. Ha, ha. yeah. 
Like her scream is very melodic and like yeah, in, and in the, the march internet. is like <clears throat> homie. <laughs> yeah, he's she's like more like I just smoked six, sixty cigarettes. Yeah, it's after very it's raspy. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like it's like a cheese grater against a barrel, a steel barrel or something like that. I like them both. Oh yeah, they're both brilliant yeah. in their own regard. So if you know German and English, watch some Simpsons episodes, like parallel. Just open, open two tabs at the same time one in german one in english and listen to yeah. them at the same time that'll be very good one from the ears. left one from the left speaker one from the light right speaker and then watch yourself go yeah. mad very slowly <laughs> <laughs> if you're already mad you're fine and if you're watching this you probably are you're welcome yeah uh, am I, I i welcome the mad people i'm happy <laughs> i'd rather be called mad than normal Fair so enough, what? fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm. And he turned it around yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's my yeah, thing. So I insult people and then make them like me. Cinematography is closed out now. Fuck, fuck, fuck the screen. Fuck, fuck, fuck the visuals. Fuck the screen. So Paul turned the camera off again and he slapped me again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Physical abuse is for off the camera. You only gonna hurt people if they can't approve it. I would sing too, but my mouth hurts from being slapped. Yeah. Thanks for that. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. <laughs> sound. Yes, sound. Sound. The sound of music. No, that was that was three episodes <laughs> ago. <laughs> I, don't, I don't watch this show. <laughs> the fuck am it's I? a podcast you only listen to it and you I, don't, I don't listen to this shit <laughs> you, only, you only have guests like me why would i fucking listen <laughs> oh that's a groucho marx wow kind of wow i think i think reggie and jack have to have to roast you i <laughs> think okay on ff that. theo uh do, do you know the famous groucho marx quote about clubs which one I would. I never join clubs because I wouldn't join a club uh, that takes like members Spamel like me. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually. I That's actually, why I don't listen to this podcast. I actually, I actually only read his his autobiography, uh, and it's really good. Like he he just makes one joke after another. One is about <clears throat> him nearly blowing up his house because during the uh, during the being Pro under twenty one. Prohibition. Yeah, prohibition. Yeah, in the. <laughs> Um, during the prohibition, he nearly blew his his house up by by making wine in in a bathtub in his in his cellar. Very cool. <laughs> and some open apparently some gas am accumulated during the fermenting process, and an open wire apparently yeah. <laughs> like created an explosion. But nobody was home, so nobody was hurt. But he had rats. But after that, he didn't have any rats oh anymore. Oh no, <laughs> those poor like, rats. The rats were like, no, fuck this, this <laughs> house, this is bullshit. <laughs> if there are any potential US American listeners thinking us very stupid for not knowing the word prohibition, mm. wasn't, wasn't a thing here. Yeah. It, it wasn't a big thing here. We always drink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cheers. So that's why I had to think a little what it's called. It is nothing that will ever happen in Europe. We function on alcohol. We're functional alcoholics. Oh, very, 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 very functional. How do you think we got to <laughs> the place where we are right now? By being sober and making in, 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 like informed decisions? Yeah, but not only drinking also, and that's just us abusing drugs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love abusing drugs, man. So, so much it's for so sound. Good. It's so good. <laughs> Oh no, there, there no, was. I, I do have a note. Yeah, I'm, I, have I already told you this off camera. I think yeah. that the music is cheesy all the time, but yeah. good cheesy. Oh no, the sound design in general is really good. Like, they, they make. Well, not all the time. Yeah, it's funny, at least. It's the overdub least... was terrible, if you remember. Okay, yeah, that one was. That was, was there was fairly, a scene where, where Stockinger had to obviously uh, re record his lines in the studio. And it's obviously <laughs> played in. It's obviously not him. It's a recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, I agree that the sound design was good. The music was very. Th there's a lot of his 80s keyboard, especially for the dramatic. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Then but we it, have. It fits. It's then okay. Then we have your stock X Files sounds as well. Oh yeah, like this. And, and the, <laughs> that's why I also said that it looked like it didn't only look like an X Files staircase; it also sounded like an X Files staircase. Yeah. And and the best thing was the the one the the one moment where they were at the beginning, 
the 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 so the music sounded like a uh, hold music from from when you were like calling a hotline or yeah. something like that. But it, from the nineties and they never changed it. Yeah. It sounded so good. It was like boom boom cha cha cha. Yeah, it was like it's dramatic elevator music. Do, 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 do. Like almost boom, those boom, classic boom, horror things. Like oh, that's the, that's Friday the Thirteenth. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like they're like. <laughs> PG version of that. Yeah. <laughs> and it still haunts your dreams, but uh, at least but nobody gets naked. Uh, with those, uh, with those, with that kind of music, do you know, there's always like one where they variate the note, like like it's always the standard melody. Yes. And then at the end, like the fourth time, it's always. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like the pitch. To make it more intense or something. <laughs> But always does that slight variation, and every mo every horror movie does it. Yeah, no, and it's, it, it it's, works. I it, like it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. It, 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 it serves taps, its purpose. It, it taps into I think a very basic human emotion that you have yeah. when you hear that. And, yeah, it's like this. Oh, this is uncomfortable. This is something yeah. what I associate on a very basic level with creepy. And that's that's bad bad uh very very good to comb it all together because that's pretty much how the sound works in this episode it yeah serves its purpose perfectly but it's very cheesy but it's good cheesy like yeah if if you are actively listening to the music you know okay they are go they are trying to put me in this mood by playing those sounds and mm. that music yeah and even me recognizing what it was it still did put me in the mood because it works mm. i know what's happening but it's still happening <laughs> Like, as you said, it's a, those basic things that speak to us. Like, I know yes. I have to feel afraid now. This has to be dramatic. That's, and you do. Yeah, and for, for the plot, it's, you know, always know what's coming by the music, which is a bit of, is a bit boring, but it's okay. It's a crime procedure. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what was your best? moment for this crime procedural <laughs> i was very best moment in for me not for the episode was the evil teleportation of the of the villain. i wanted to say that but fair enough i have a backup okay yeah no go on yeah, yeah. I, I mean we talked about it before briefly but, yeah but like the, the very hurt like head wounds and fucking again he was in a car crash you know yeah, yeah he, he was hobbling he had yeah a, a fucked up leg and a girl being upstairs from him, shooting, uh, throwing something at him, hitting him in the head, making him bleed, and running away. And like two seconds later, he's in front of her. Mm. That's my favorite moment. That he suddenly <laughs> had super powers of evil yeah, he, teleportation. He turned in, he turned and into then the, started hobbling again. He turned for, into the flesh for like 0 0.7 seconds. Yeah, and then he turned back into Dr. Xavier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got your references. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll nice, back you up. Nice, nice, nice. I'll, I'll go nerdy with you. Yeah, go go down nerdy with me, man. Go down nerdy with me. Um, slide my calculator. Try um, to catch me cr riding nerdy. <laughs> Try to catch me riding <laughs> nerdy. nerdy. Exactly. Um, oh, for me, it was the moment where he starts to wield the guns akimbo style. Yeah. Oh, Akim no, actually, Akimbo actually, style actually, for everybody who doesn't actually, know is... Actually, the, the shootout was better. Explain Akimbo style for Oh, yeah, people. sorry. Yeah, Akimbo is when an, uh, when in a scene... Not, it, no, not in just a scene, just, just in general. In general. Yeah, somebody... It, it comes from, from computer games, I think. But well, the, the, you're still not telling what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, uh, long, I, long walk for a short <laughs> laugh. <laughs> it's not even a laugh in this case. It's, it's nothing just, so far. Yeah. <laughs> Keep this going. Is the worst. It is. You're heckling me while I'm trying. And to And I explain. requested it. I'm. I'm the greatest douche on earth right now. Tell me something so I can heckle you. <laughs> nope. But you're taking your fucking time. Tell him. Yeah, I can. We want to know. Yeah, it's 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 when you wield two guns at the same time. Well, that took a very long time for this short of a conclusion. I'm gonna cut it in a way that, that it you looks look smart. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you have to cut the whole thing. <laughs> It's a two-second podcast. I don't know why I'm turning so mean right now. <laughs> but I'm kind of enjoying myself. Yeah, it, it's, I think it's the couch, bro. I'm going to get rid of this couch. Is it's, it evil? I think it's evil, yeah. It, it, like it, in, in recent episodes, I've been more and more hostile towards the audience. Sorry, guys, again. And more hostile towards the movies that I was reviewing. And it's... it's, it's 
I don't know, man, if the negativity just takes over and, and, and turns me mad all of a sudden and I start to kill people in the spree, even though my misconceptions are completely, completely wrong and actually people here still enjoy it. And, uh, you know, it's it's like it's like I have it's it's like I have, I have, I have ambition aids of sorts <clears throat> and I just got a positive review and uh, now I have to kill you, man. I have to get my gun, I think. I zoned out for a moment. Can you say that again? Bye. So, this is my solo podcast now. How many bullets do you have? That's what he said to the TV earlier. So, what is your best moment? Um, <laughs> you bitch. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was actually not the. Not the. It was the shootout before that, where where he really thought that he could shoot out of a tower, basically down onto a street where the car was parked yeah. of the cops, and he Stefan starts to shoot at them, and like none of the bullets hit. Yeah, none of them. The villain, it was the villain so is funny. It the was so funny. The villain funny. is shooting from the roof, basically, of the mansion he's yes. hiding in. To the just arriving cops. Yeah. With a fucking revolver. Yeah, instead of what you said, why don't you flee? You can yeah. totally escape right now, bro. I was, <laughs> yeah, again, crime procedural writing. Yeah, <laughs> like we only have like 10 minutes left. We I have mean, to close this down. It's okay to, to <laughs> you don't have to be clever all the time, but sometimes it's so obviously st the stupid choice of yeah. the villain to do that one thing just so they can shoot or be dramatic. And that... I, th Again, that's one of my big problems with fucking those shows, that they are so fucking stupid just to get a little action kick in. Yeah. 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 You're disappointed. And um, I wouldn't say disappointed because I already knew it was going to happen because it's one of those shows. I'm just that's why I can't watch those shows because it takes mm. me out of it a lot because right. it's, it's so um. It it's really logic, basically. Yeah, like, and it's, it's, it's not silly in a self. Uh, it, it doesn't make fun of itself. It takes itself seriously at the same time. That's yeah, I think I think that's why, why for example, uh, Naked Gun works that well. Yeah. Because it it knows it's still a crime procedural, basically, but it's so fucking... F and, and the yeah. actors are all acting straight. Yeah, Naked Gun is exactly... Nobody laughs in this movie. It's exactly a parody of shows villains. like this. Yeah. So, secret category. Uh, yes, the secret category, my friend. Do you have one? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Who is to blame? But uh, really, who is to blame? Because in my for opinion, what? yeah, for, for the whole affair, I think it's the fucking it's the fucking nurse at the beginning. I think she, it's the hospital, she, yeah. She she's first of all very bad at acting and saying and, and making him not curious Paul, that the second again, we have to set context because the blood thing we never mentioned. We never mentioned the blood thing? No. Oh sorry. Then please explain the blood thing. Okay, that the uh the main villain in the beginning or the the only villain, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a joke who's the second villain, but I, I forgot Again, it. Again, the second villain is the nurse. But uh, go on. So they're, the guy who turns Amok uh, is in the hospital in the beginning because yeah. he hurt his leg. And there are blood tests that have been taken by a nurse. Yeah. And the, which it's is just those procedure. blood tests which, which turn out to be not true. Yeah. Or not conclusive enough yeah. for him to have HIV. But it's not the nurse's fault, it's the computer's fault. I say it's the hospital's fault, the technology's she didn't, fault. She didn't lock the cupboard where he... Ref she herself said, I should have locked it. Yes, you should have. This is very sensitive information. Anybody could yeah, have walked Yeah, but on in the other side, if, if he, he would have walked in there anyway, so he would have broken it open. He was determined to find out... But in general, it's still horseshit because there are hundreds of people's private documents in there. Yeah, but look, but that's that's not the tests. problem. That's not w w where we go to. We go to why <laughs> did he do, do those things? Because he thought he was HIV positive. And the blood test, which was wrong, was not the nurse's fault. No, no, no. It no, doesn't it, end that, there. No, she, no, but she added to the problem. But I say that he would have broken open that cabinet hadn't it been unlocked already. Okay, so that's you're just... You're just putting uh, ineptness on her part. 
Yeah. No blame, but ineptness. If we if we take the question, who is to blame? Seriously, I'm, I'm yeah. going to go with the hospital technology. Yeah. At the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, obviously. Yeah. They they should have they should have reconfirmed yeah. in another way or or never had a false yeah. positive in this case. She um, to use a phrase that you used off camera. She's the symptom, but not the <laughs> the sickness. Ooh. Nice, good, good uh, public so, public health sector burn. So you say the nurse is to blame, which and I could say, be treated uh, for free in Austria thanks to our public health sector. I say technology is to blame. <laughs> okay, yeah, or, or the doctors using the technology. All Mis- right, yeah, no, 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 that's that's a fair enough assessment of the situation. I, I like that. I like that viewpoint. I like that angle. For me, again, I'm I'm still I'm still content with with being being that. That it was the not yeah. the, not the nurse, but definitely the 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 nurse. screenwriter's fault. Yeah, for writing the fair. story and and, yeah. and 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 thinking well, of that 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 an AIDS an AIDS a positive AIDS test that might not be positive actually gets gets you enough enraged that you start to kill two, and then plan to kill another 20 or something yeah well but blaming the writer is like the easiest blame to make of course it's written but <laughs> i'm also blaming the writer with my theory yes oh yeah true yeah it's still the universe that they yeah. created <laughs> so you have to act I have if you're in the general, universe i have more general blame to give do you have specific blame to give yeah this is the difference between catholicism and general Stupidity. Human, yes, it's general stupidity. Yeah, <laughs> yours is specific. Mine is all powerful and on all enveloping. But we're both fucking stupid. Oh yeah, duh. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea that we watch this. <laughs> um, so there's only final a, conclusion. Yeah. So after 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 having such a long uh, Rex dry spell. Oh yeah. That would be, by the way, a great name for a character. I really need to. My pee. name is Rex. I'm, Rex I'm, Dry Spell. Let's wrap this up. I need to piss so bad. Okay, <laughs> so you you have to dif- you have a dry spell right now, but not being able to take a leak. Nothing will be dry if you don't keep <laughs> speeding this up. That never bothered That's me. That's a creak. And I pissed myself. Okay. <laughs> that never bothered me. That I pissed myself yeah. when I hear that. <laughs> so please conclude so okay. I can Yeah, conclude. I conclude that you should uh, piss. look look out for the other FFP episodes. Because this one is... No, actually, that if you like a really hot hottie with a massive bulge and some sweet 90 action, watch this. It, yeah. is, it is it is the subtitles are really good and it's a readily available tv show yeah. in a lot of places so watch it man watch it people yeah my conclusion be, be, be entertained you could take off your glasses as a big reveal at the end and and or make pants it. as a very big reveal <laughs> because of my oh, hernia my <laughs> nice 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 hernia pull thank you yeah i really pulled it yeah so uh <laughs> my conclusion would be i'm in immense pain you're right always now. interrupting me sorry how dare you my conclusion would be uh it's a guilty pleasure series it's nothing mm-hmm. special it's nothing too creative but it's like a bag of chips you'll enjoy it while it lasts and then you're done with it and you hate yourself okay but while you're eating them they're delicious then you die of a heart attack that's my conclusion for commissar rex pretty dark man Pretty dark. I like it. I like it. Can I go pee now? Yes, you can pee now, but only after your plugs. Where oh, can yeah. people find you? What are you doing? Uh, right now, I just want to plug my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash schneidschneider. You'll never know how to spell it from just me saying it, so it's in the description. Yes, it is fucking in the description, and fucking check it out, because that show is fucking gold, guys. It is quite magnificent, and you yeah. are... an artist i am good thank sir. you and i just launched a new series called gutes product which means good product where i product tests test things mm-hmm. and it goes awry oh yay <laughs> That's are you testing whiskey in the future so it can actually go awry please can i go pee now yes bye guys bye thanks for listening thanks for having me yeah thank you thank you for being here bye
<laughs> a riot. It was a riot. Uh. <laughs> I'm so lucky this is still on it. <laughs> you know, you know what planet that joke comes from? Mm -hmm. Orion. Orion. Yeah. 